The unique thing about genetics, which I really wish we would use in children early in their life, Mm -hmm. is if you are, whether you're a vaccinator or you're a non-vaccinator, it really doesn't matter. If you're going to vaccinate your babies, you want to make sure that it's never going to hurt your baby. You want to make sure that that one vaccine works, hopefully. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because if I'm a public health guy, Mm -hmm. I've got a completely different idea of public health than I do as a physician. Okay. As yeah. a physician, you brought your baby to me. Yeah. And I got to take care of your baby. So I am skewed towards your baby. The vaccine efficacy curve mm-hmm. tells us that after the first vaccine, almost 90% of babies are immune following the first vaccine. Okay. And then when we get to a second booster, it goes mm-hmm. to 93%. And when we get to a third booster, it goes to 95 to 96%. Mm-hmm. So if I'm a public health guy and I'm looking at that, I'm like, oh, I want the 96% because I want herd immunity. Mm -hmm. But nine out of of 10 of those babies didn't need the second or third booster. Mm -hmm. 